Hello friends, I am Dr. Yashwan Joshi and I am the Vice President of NAPCA, that is National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrity Medicines. Earlier we had discussed number of models with you people who are doing lots of good services in palliative care in different parts of India. We have spoken about Alpha Palliative Care located at Trishu district of Kerala and it is working since 2005. We have Koshis located in Jharkhand. We have spoken about Community Onco Center which is one of the oldest palliative care centers. It is located at Ahmedabad and other models we will be talking about later. But now I am speaking to you regarding what we are doing in Punjab and particularly in the holy city of Amritsar. This presentation has been prepared by Dr. Paramjot Bindra, wonderful personality. In fact, I happen to meet her since last uh, number of times. She is the state level observer and local faculty for periodic care course at Sri Guru Ramdas University of Health Sciences. She is the member of NAPCAIM and she did a wonderful job in the recently conducted international conference of NAPCAIM at Amritsar on 14, 15 and 16 October. I will come to that later. The presentation is basically in two parts. First part covers palliative care which of course in the whole course we have been talking about palliative care but we will go over it and then we come to what is happening about palliative care in Punjab and particularly in Amritsar at Sri Guru Ramdas University, we will take it in detail. Palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families who are facing problems associated with life threatening illness. It prevents and relieves suffering through the early ident identification, correct assessment and treatment of pain and other problems, whether physical, psychosocial or spiritual. So basically in palliative care we talk about two qualities, quality of life for the patients when they are living and when they are about to die we basically talk about quality of death even after that also. In fact, I have been always talking that this is the only stream of medicine which does not leave patient after the death, but we carry on our support services in terms of grief and bereavement even after the death of the patient. Why do we need lots of palliative care in India? And I will say it is a need of the hour because of certain reasons, late diagnosis and inadequate pain relief, lack of palliative care facilities poor quality of death index and lack of medical infrastructure. When I say lack of palliative care facilities, we do not have. I mean to say only Kerala is the only state in southern India where lots of palliative care centers have come up. Now of course they are coming up, Assam is catching up, Gujarat of course laid earlier but now we do not have any centers, now Punjab and other things are coming up. Goals of palliative care affirms life, that is quality of life treats the person. This is the only stream of medicine, discipline of medicine where we pay more emphasis to the person, the sick person and the families. Of course, we treat the disease also, but the person and the family, the sick person, they are being given equal rather more importance. And in that case, we support the families socially, psychologically and spiritually. This is the timeline development of palliative care. Uh, things have started in 1975 and thereafter uh, it came and later on Cancer Relief India was established by UK doctor Gillibant. She had visited uh, Ahmedabad also the GCRI that is Gujarat Cancer Research Institute. In fact, after her departure, 
they had opened up a hospice. Then in 1995, Indian Association of Palliative Care was founded. It was founded by Dr. M.T. Bhatia. At that time, he was the head and professor of the Department of Anesthesia. And he was very much interested in pain management and palliative care. And then it carried on to south by Pallium India. Kerala state policy came up in about 2008 and that is how it carried on. This is them, Cecily Saunders. She was the English nurse and uh, she was the one, she was the pioneer of palliative care in UK. And thereafter this idea came down to India. Dr. Lewis, he was the founder of India's first hospice. Shanti Avedna Southern in Mumbai and Dr. M. T. Bhatia, the founder of uh, Indian Association of Palliative Care, he founded another, that is the second hospice in India, that is at Community Onco Center, Ahmedabad. Dr. Raj Gopal from South, that is a Pallium India, he did a wonderful job and uh, in honor of that, he was awarded Padma Shri by Government of India. Suresh Kumar, he is the director of IPM. IPM also did a wonderful job. How does the palliative care start? People have got wrong notion that palliative care is only for the dying people. No. In fact, palliative care starts from the very beginning, during the screening time itself. And then it goes on to diagnosis. And after diagnosis, we active decision detected, then normal treatment starts and then it carries on to death and even beyond death, that is a bereavement, grief and bereavement support. In death, basically what we try and give is the quality of death. Quality of life and quality of death, they go together and that is called palliative care. So in short, we can say during the initial stages of disease, Curative coy care is there, but later on when this is progresses and nothing can be done about it, then we start palliative care and it carries on beyond death. How can we give palliative care? Of course, we have discussed this thing in home care services, but again, this is there inpatient ward in hospice. Uh, this is the picture of Dr. Gita Joshi. She is the director of Community Onco Center, the second hospice established in India by Dr. M. T. Bhatia. Down below is the home care services. Outpatient departmental, they come in the hospital and inpatient ward hospitals, they are also being served at, in the clinics or hospitals. This is what we want to talk about Punjab model. In Punjab, Sri Guru Ramdas, Charitable Hospital and Sri Guru Ramdas University of Health Sciences located about 15 kilometers away from Punjab of correction, Amritsar took the initiative and the Department of Community Medicines, lots of doctors came out and prominent were Dr. Harjot and his wife Dr. Paramjot being young people full of energy and enthusiast, they carried forward the project. And now they have established number of centers all around Amritsar. The current status, they have got a center at Ludhiana, one of the districts, Bhatinda, Faridkot, Hoshiarpur, Fatehgarh Sahib and Amritsar itself is the main hub of political activities in Punjab. It was earlier supported by can support located at Delhi. They have got a branch there working at Amritsar. Then Sri Guru Ramdas Institute of Medical Science in Research Amritsar. Pain management clinic was established. Then when NAPCAM was established about three years back, again Dr. Harjot and Paramjot, they were the pioneers. They took a lead along with the Dean Dr. A.P. Singh. They established a Punjab chapter. Dr. A.P. Singh, the dean of this college, is the president of Punjab chapter, Nakhim. And here onwards, the training courses started in a very big way. 
and therefore i can say punjab had done more work in advocacy in spreading awareness of course all over india but at least in punjab we had lots of students coming for our different courses in that came a journey of palliative care services in amritsar can support was the one they had established connection with can support in 2017 and since then they got a team at amritsar which is doing good work they had a first international fellowship batch of palliative care at uh, ipm that is who collaborative center so this is the picture of first batch of fellowship in palliative care dr ap singh the dean signing an mou between sri guru ramdas university of health sciences and ipm who collaborating center in 2019 they organized a foundation course also in 2019 that was again the part of awareness and that is what i said in awareness and advocacy punjab chapter has taken a cake this is the group photograph taken during the first foundation course at amritsar new spread then thereafter sri guru ramdas university of health sciences signed an mou with napkin national association of palliative care of for ayush and integrity medicines and then we started in a big way we started with a, this was the corona time so people could not go out and napkin had established an international institute for distance learning we call it iidl dr geeta joshi she is the director of this institute we started with a certificate course foundation course for 3 months and it got a huge response from punjab particularly from amritsar then we extended this to the fellowship then we came to pg diploma for one year so this association between sri guru ramdas university of health sciences and napkin is going very strong and moving forward at least in advocacy and awareness programs these are the advertising brochures of our programs certificate course and other course details this was the convocation ceremony of uh, first batch of certificate courses and fellowship this was organized again at sri guru ramdas university amritsar thereafter in 2021 when corona went out and people were free to move out and in october 2021 sri guru ramdas university took a challenge took the opportunity and they inaugurated a rural health and training center at mulunangal this was inaugurated on 8th october 2021 i was supposed to go but i could not go because of uh, i didn't have any time but it is going on very well quite away from amritsar this is the hospice from hospice as well as from the university they established a palliative care sections at the guru ramdas hospital so they organize home care visits to the needy patients they carry out dental camps also harjo thapans to be originally a dentist then converted into a human resource manager and then further converted to palliative care specialist correction dr paramjot is basically a dentist then became a human resource manager and then finally she got attached with the palliative care projects
challenges ahead. Before that, again I forgot to mention last month that is on 14, 15, 16 October, we had a wonderful international conference of NEPCAM. It was organized by Sri Guru Ramdas University at Amritsar. Fantastic program, lots of scientific discussions. It carried on for two and a half days. First day was devoted, 14th was devoted for the workshops for nurses and other students and then one and a half day we had our scientific sessions. This is the first international conference, very nicely organized and the people were really happy. They liked it very much and we are really thankful to Guru Ramdas University as a whole and the organizing secretary that is Dr. Harjot and uh, assistant organizing secretary that is Dr. Paramjot for such a fabulous show. Challenges ahead to reach people living with chronic incurable diseases in the background of poverty and lack of resources, limited availability of PC and philosophy of disease oriented curative care that dominates in our society. Lack of communication about patient goals and preferences for care. Consent for PC must be obtained from competent patients and should not be assumed. Full disclosure is required so that the patient realizes that he or she will be cared by a multidisciplinary team. Medical insurance does not play a significant role in hospice and palliative care provisions in India. Number of challenges are there, but we are moving ahead and definitely we are getting stronger and stronger as the time passes. Thank you. This is what uh, Dr. Padmashri, Dr. M. R. Raj Gopal says. There has been a lot of progress in palliative care in India, but the fact remains that despite the passing of almost 30 years of palliative care activity in the country, even today it reaches to only less than 2 percent of the people in India. We will keep on trying, let us say. It is a hope and hope never dies. Thank you.